Food Trends TV. I am Dana McCauley, and today we're going to talk about eating insects. Now, while about two and a half billion people on the planet think eating insects is okay, here in North America the idea is still a little creepy crawly, and I think it's probably very similar in Europe. There are a lot of people who say that eating insects is going to be the next big thing, and some of them are putting their money where their mouth is. In fact, you've got uh, snack companies and um, granola bar companies and uh, people who make uh, ingredients such as cricket flour, all doing a lot of promotion right now and saying that bugs are going to be the next big thing here in North America. Sadly, I have to disagree with them. <laughs> I think that as long as we see pork chops on sale in our weekly flyers, that we're going to opt for something that's a little bit more familiar. Repeatedly, consumers tell researchers that they look for three or four things when they're choosing a new product or even a product that they're familiar with. And the first one is acceptance. Will my family, will my friends, will I like this and eat this? The second is taste. If it doesn't taste good, it's not going to get eaten. The third is uh, often health or value, depending on the consumer. So while I think that uh, there's a lot of good reasons to eat bugs, they have about two times as much protein per ounce as beef, and they often contain a lot more iron than uh, an equal amount of, say, spinach or another healthy food would, I think that not knowing how it's gonna taste and not knowing whether their family are going to eat them, it means that the mainstream consumer is not going for bugs anytime soon. So let's hope that the very echo conscious and the people who love to fear factor out their friends and uh, and um, shock them with what they eat, that they can keep these new companies going. Because I think it's a really interesting initiative. I just think it's a little bit ahead of its time. Tell me in the comment section below, do you agree with me or am I way off base here? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd like to see you back here again for the next episode of Food Trends TV. Thanks for tuning in.